Hiya, and thank you so much for watching my video. Um, this video is all to do with fox hunting and um, why I think the ban that is currently in action should should obviously be continued. Um, before we start, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting here holding um, holding my dog Buster because obviously he's not a fox. But the reason I'm actually I've actually got him here is just to explain that he is no different really to a fox right he's a beautiful living if you like you know a defenseless creature yeah he, he, you know a fox don't really want to hurt, hurt, um, hurt anyone it just wants to live yeah and obviously do what it needs to do to live now to me um this this hunting ban should remain because you've got to, you've only got to watch other videos on on youtube and, and actually see what is taking place yeah it is absolutely brutal what they're doing to foxes. You know, imagine him now. This is my dog. Imagine him now being tr chased across a field, and then he and and then at the end of his life, he's got thirty dogs tearing him apart because that's what happens in a fox hunt. They can ride up on their shiny horses with their pretty red coats on, yeah. But at the end of the day, right? They are, in my eyes, they are they scum. Right, the people who are taking part and who are actually chasing and, and killing that fox, right? What what for? Is it for? And they say it's for sport, right? Then they're sick. I tell you, anybody, if someone told me that they were involved in fox hunting, right, I wouldn't have anything to do with them. I wouldn't even want to communicate with them. I would just say, you are what you do, what you encourage. You're encouraging mindless horrible violence towards a defenseless animal there's no reason for it now obviously the you know we're not you, uh, you understand how fox hunting came up came about it was to obviously rid the countryside of a certain amount of foxes it was you know it was a necessary at the time a necessary um, um, action that had to be taken to preserve the countryside obviously other creatures in the countryside and now if that is still the case as much as I would hate for a fox to be killed, if they have to be killed, um, because of obviously um, you know looking after the countryside, um, as much as I don't like the idea of that, if that is got to happen, if that has got to happen, then they should be shot, not chased and pulled apart and mutilated like they are for someone's for someone's um, gratification, if you like. Yeah, I just do not understand how any person, how any person would want to uh, would, would want to harm any any other living creature. Really, yeah, you know I mean foxes, they're, they're they're beautiful creatures. I was watching it on on the telly the other day on YouTube. I can't think the guy's name, one of the MPs, and he called them he called them vermin. Who is he to call them vermin? Do you know what I mean? I just don't understand it. How would he like it? You know, if you know, if he was being called vermin, who decides whether or not they're vermin or not? Do you know what I mean? It's just a word. You know, at the end of the day, and like I say, if they are if they are being classified as vermin and they have got to be you know, they have got to be like, you know, obviously have their numbers reduced, do it humanely. I've just watched a video a minute ago all about it. You know, I watched another I watched one the other day. And it is just distressing watching that fox being chased. Across um, across a field and killed for no real reason, also so all because some snob can sit up on his horse, and they put blood on their faces on the fox's blood when they when they first go on their um, when they first, when, when they go on their first hunt and all that thing. It's sick. I'm telling you, if you're doing this, you are sick. And all I hope and pray, yeah, um, is that if you are. Uh, reincarnated that you come back as a fox because i'm telling you what you're wicked right and the other thing is um um this tory government now right at the time of making this video 2017 there is a ban on fox hunting so why are people still going unprosecuted why are these hunts still being allowed to be uh, still allowed to be taken place and the answer to that is is simple. The people who are who are, if you like, enjoying these hunts, 
yeah, the rich, if you like, right, right, you yeah, know, and all, and all like the upper class snobs, these are the very people that are taking play, taking part in these hunts, and that's why they're not being stopped, yeah, if this was a sport for the poor, right, it, it would be stopped overnight, yeah, this is another example of this Tory government not taking action, yeah, the, the people have decided, people have voted against fox hunting, against the unlawful destruction of a fox. So why is this Tory government right, not spending the money, not giving the police the resources to enforce this ban? And like I said, it's, I can only imagine it's the people at the top, the, the, the wealthy, the rich, who enjoy this hobby, right? who are obviously whispering in other people's ears and nothing's being done, right? And it's wrong. So um, I'm just doing this video because if you see my other videos, you'll know I love all animals, yeah? Right? And at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? They're defenceless. Why, why are we doing, why are people doing this to people? It's, it does. It really, it sickens me. Because I'll tell you what, I mean, I, where I live, there ain't no one's really much going on around here. But I tell you what, if, if ever I see it taking place and I was amongst it, I think I'd have to do something because it's wicked. You know what I mean? It's not sport. It's wicked. Right? It's like people who go shooting. Yeah? Fair enough if a person, you know, they go like shooting the pheasants because obviously they're using them as food. I can kind of understand that. Even though I don't like it, I can kind of understand it because I actually eat meat. I'm not a vegetarian or anything like that. Um... I, I can understand that uh, because obviously they're shooting them to obviously um, bring them down to obviously you obviously for food. You know, people have been hunting for food for centuries, right? Like I say, I can kind of understand that, but I don't understand someone just shooting something for sport. I don't get it. These I've done a video recently all about the big game hunting. I don't understand why anyone would get any gratification out of going out and shooting and killing a defenceless animal. You know, I myself, I actually like shooting. I've got, well, I used to have an air gun. I used to love sitting out in my garden and shooting, um, you know, shooting at targets. Why have you got to shoot a living creature? I just don't get it. I just do not get it, all right? But, uh, you know, look at, you know, before you go on one of these hunts, you know, think about what you're doing. Think about the animal you're killing. Think about how it's being killed. Yeah? And don't try and tell yourself that you're doing it for, for any real reason. The only reason you're doing it, you might be doing it because you're feeling a bit pressured into doing it. You might be that your dad does it and you want to, and like your, your dad's trying to you to encourage you to do it. Well, if you don't feel like doing it, if you don't feel like participating in that event, don't do it. Have your own opinion. Someone recently had a, had a bit of a go at me because uh, for even doing YouTube, telling me I shouldn't be doing it and, and that I was embarrassing myself and all this shit, right? And to me, I'll tell you what's more embarrassing. I'll tell you what's more embarrassing, right? More embarrassing is doing nothing. That's what's more embarrassing. I'm going to do a video about this soon, right? But I'm telling you, right, you've got your own opinion. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody, right, tell you you shouldn't do something. As long as you believe you're doing it for the right reason. Like this video, right? I don't like the idea of any innocent animal being killed, right, for no reason, right? So, so you've got to let, but you've got to talk to people about it. You know, you've got to write, you know, someone like, say, recently had a bit of a go at me. You know, in the day, I didn't want to get in a, conversa in a confrontation with him because he's someone I know. But at the end of the day, um, it's your opinion. The whole idea of living in a democratic society is about being, is about saying what you want to say and have the freedom to say that. As long as you're not inciting any violence, as long as you're not doing any, you know, you're not um, uh, encouraging any criminal activity, then you can have your say. And I was surprised at the person who said, said this to me recently for telling me about, oh, I don't know nothing and I shouldn't be doing this. Because then the day, who is he to tell me? He can tell, 
I, I can't say what I want to say, but he can fucking say what he wants to say to me. It's, it's absolute nonsense. The whole idea of living in, in the United Kingdom and living in a democratic society is that when something is, is pissing you off and upsetting you and something ain't right, is that you can say and do something about it, right? That's why I do. That's why I'm doing these videos. I, you know, someone like say, I ain't the same words, but he had a bit of a go at me, and I'm, I'm thinking like, well, how else can you voice your opinion? If someone does something and they piss you off, what you, what you just, what you just do, you just do, you just do nothing, do you? You just do nothing. No, the whole idea, to me, the whole idea of YouTube, right, and the um. Um, and obviously, you know, you, you're actually owning your own YouTube platform is, is that you can actually voice your opinion. I think it's fantastic, right? I think it's fantastic. Don't let anyone tell you what you're doing if you believe in it is a waste of time because there's so many people that conform. There's so many people that just do what they're told. Yeah, they're under the thumb, Right? They work for people and they just do what they're told and they don't say nothing, right? If you believe something's wrong, if you believe that, you know, it could be anything. If you think you're being treated unfairly, if you think the government are doing something wrong, if you think that you're, you're um, I don't know, anything. I've done a video recently about my doctor's surgery, about how you've virtually got to beg to go and see a doctor, right? You've got to start standing up and, and, and having a voice. Otherwise, we become a society of followers. Yeah? You can either, like I say, someone had a go at me recently, right? Because my, my life at the minute ain't, I, you know, before Christmas, I'm struggling a bit. I ain't got doing great. But I'll bounce back. I always bounce back in the new year. I'm working. Do you know what I mean? I always, I always work. But there's so many people that they seem to have it all. All, um, everything's in their favour, and they forget, they forget about, um, in my eyes, they forget about reality. It's like these people are doing this fox hunting. You know, they're, they're running around in their big flash horses, killing innocent foxes. They're not, in my eyes, they're not in touch with the real world. Because there's no way, you know, why can't they go and do something, um, you know, rather than doing that hunt, why can't they go and do something, they've obviously got money, why don't they go and do something for their local community? Why don't they start getting their local community involved with the animals? Yeah, actually seeing the animals and, and seeing the horses. Why don't they start doing something? Do, start doing some conservation. Start helping nature. Rather than causing misery. Yeah, I watched a video a minute ago. A woman was almost crying. She was following this fox, seeing this fox being chased across the grounds. And she was almost in tears doing it. She's like, obviously... She's like me. She don't, you know, don't obviously don't agree with fox hunting. The misery that's caused with so many people. Also, so some upper class snob can sit on his horse. I tell you what, I'd like to take him off his horse, and I'd like to make him run across the field and send hands after him. If they'd done that, perhaps she'd see, yeah. But if they'd done that, oh, that'd be that'd be terrible. If all of a sudden one of them hands turned around and started ripping one of the. Uh, Ripping one of the hunters apart, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be up, they'd be up in arms about it because it's a human. Well, what's the difference between a, a beautiful fox, a beautiful fox, and some snob on an horse? I'll tell you what, I know I'd sort of spend the afternoon watching, yeah, a beautiful fox or some toff on an horse, yeah, because I would, if I had my way, I'd be dragging them, I'd be dragging them off it. Um, Gonna end my video here. But yeah, if you've got a voice, if you've got an opinion about something, don't let these upper class right snobs stop you from doing it. And and to the person recently who told me not to do YouTube, right, uh, you can rest assured, right? I will keep doing YouTube, right? And whatever you think, it's my opinion, yeah. If you've got an opinion, don't have a go at me. Leave a comment, yeah? Leave a comment and I'll answer it. Thanks. Oh, if you can, I'd appreciate it if you please like and subscribe my subscribe to my channel. Because of, um, I'm all about helping people, helping myself, helping other people, helping animals. 
yeah, doing good, yeah. You won't ever catch me up on an horse chasing an innocent creature, murdering an innocent creature, because that's what you're doing if you're involved in fox hunting. Thanks.